All right, boys. So there has been multiple YouTubers that have completely vanished off the face of the internet. I'm talking Roblox YouTubers, Roblox developers that literally have yeah. went missing and have never been seen again. And nobody understands why. Some of these players have legit went missing for over 2 trillion years. Okay, not actually. <laughs> but listen, boys, the legendary YouTuber Cubink has released a video talking about the Roblox legends who went missing. So listen, boys, we are going to grab our popcorn. We're going to sit back, watch this video, and we are going to see what actually happened to these roblox legends all right because i'm actually curious imagine being adored by millions online yup wait you just died only to abandon them forever oh okay okay i hope that actually no one died inside of this video um hopefully everyone's safe you know that went missing not many roblox players spent years building up their name 1.5 billion robux oh my gosh of it all. what i would do for 1.5 billion robux expect. is crazy so to you find really out shouldn't tell anyone this. this. And Wait, where what? They could be, we need to dive into their full stories one by one. Let's see it. Starting what with the zoo five five seven three. Yo, this looks like just a regular an bacon. kid who joined Roblox for the very first time. Ready for the. I mean, it kind of looks like an alt account, like... but I mean, it could um, not be. What are you guys doing here? What the heck, dude? Oh my gosh, it's a zoo. A zoo, please friend me. No way, I got. Yo, all these server. rich no people way, are fans. You. Of a bacon. Hold up, why are you crowding this innocent player? Wait, what's that music? Wait, the one billionth well, player? I guess that explains it. Wait, is that actually true? All right, we're gonna go to the one billionth profile. Oh my gosh, it is actually true. 50,000 followers five years ago. Oh, nah, bro. What happened to her? It's the billionth Roblox user, which was pretty big for the entire community. No, and that is actually crazy. Zoo. Dude, people actually made YouTube videos on this? All the attention she was that is getting. wild. Well, at least for the time being. Wait, what? After a what while, happened? She noticed how valuable her account truly was. Yeah, I'm not literally gonna lie. It's probably worth thousands chance. of dollars. She couldn't possibly let anyone ruin it. So to be safe, she cleared her friends list. Wait, but why? Despite that, players still Wait, can you get hacked by your friends or something? Reasons. Like, easier? Why would you delete all your friends? No! Azu, man, yeah, I've always sure wanted to be your friend, bro. Please, accept my friend request. Now. I'm gonna send it a request right now. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I get right. added. Which I'm definitely well, not. <laughs> even with this warning, a player somehow stalked a zoo in a game. Yo, that is it. actually Except weird. And filming it is even weirder. A bit off. I have to tell you something depressing. What? Don't say this to anyone. Something depressing? Wait, what happened? Tell me! It's time to investigate. The video's title says a zoo got password guessed. No way! Hacked. Her worst There's no way that's fear. real! That's a pretty bold claim, so we need at least two pieces of evidence. After she acted no weird, way. a zoo, or who we think is a zoo, was asked, How'd you get into the account? And answered with, A zoo got hacked? I just got the password. Got so the pass Yo, why did they say that's so normal? Off. Yeah, I just got the password. So, you're not the real Azu? I hate to say it, but she could have been hacked by someone who's jealous. I mean, that's usually what hackers do. Hack people that they're jealous of. She did want to protect her account. I mean, that's something a normal kid would do, right? That is definitely true. Oh, protect the passwords the at all costs, boys. The puzzle. Her Roblox game. Oh no, did she put the password inside of the Roblox game? What if she just had her password just right there? In this game, you would expect something normal, considering she's an average player, I think. But if we join her game for 10 seconds... What happens? Yeah, this doesn't match up. Yo, that is yeah, actually that weird. With all this Bro, that just gave me the creeps. I'm not even kidding. She just got hacked. A random playground? Enough, the creepy Dude, that's game actually weird. Was made on the exact day she joined Roblox. Huh? This may seem small, but it makes the story a lot darker. You see, if she was acting normal the entire time, how can she possibly make a game this scary right when she joined? Dude, that's what I'm saying. Who the heck makes a game in their, like, first day? This could mean one of two things. Either one, a zoo is a pretty disturbing kid. Yo, this video is getting weird, man. Or two, okay, creeped she out. was immediately hacked right as she joined without even knowing. Imagine getting Thankfully, hacked on day one. That would be crazy. You don't know anybody on the account. You just get hacked. Azu logged out of her account for a whole month after she joined. Theoretically, she could have logged out after making the account. Why would she log out? someone else to hack in. And See, I think this is actually an alt account. Knowing, of course. And, and then my month, playground? Yeah, that's weird. And realized she was famous. So she took safety measures. 
only for her to get hacked again, as seen in this video. So Dude, again? On, she's been exiled out of her special Dude, account. Dude, no! You're telling me the one billionth account is not even active and is literally lost? There's no way. Apples took that away. To this day, we don't know I don't know why the hacker wouldn't log back in, though. I'm surprised they haven't logged in. In literally five years. Account. If I was a hacker and I logged on to somebody's account, I would literally stay on it forever. That would be my new main account. Unlike a zoo, Ripple didn't join as some legendary player with everyone crowding him. In fact, he joined in 2008. One of oh my gosh, dude. I don't even think I was born. <laughs> dude, that was like four years old. I don't even think I was walking. Game, a canvas for creativity, and he wouldn't let his time stop him from creating something great. So with the help create? of his loyal brother, they began to work on game after game. I feel like that name is pretty, uh, out of this small platform. pretty familiar. But since it was 2009... Bro. None of them really surface. However, that's when an idea hit him. What if I took inspiration from a bigger game than Roblox? What game? This is the PS1. The PS1? What the heck? <laughs> a legendary game console with one of its biggest games. Who takes inspiration Jersey, from a PS1? A pretty big fan of. With this fun I don't idea, even think anybody Ripple owns that anymore. To a brand new game. Roblox, Roblox Derby. Yo, that kind of sounds crazy. The game it's was like simple. monster trucks. You spawn with a car, and your only goal is to crash into as many people as possible. That is this actually a good game for literally 10 car. years ago. For legal reasons, I must clarify that this is in Roblox. Wait, how is that not Roblox? Players found satisfaction out of vehicular assault. I have a bulldozer! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> this kid's trying to run people over. Visits, which at the time... Why is he so excited about that? 700,000 Robux. A nice motivation to keep things going. By doing something that works... In something you love, you're destined to succeed as long as you keep going at it. That is true, boys. 2014, on, four years? That other games beat him in competition. Dang, RIP Roblox but Derby, man. Dev he come was, back. He used his Make the comeback. Ran out a new game. But unlike all the other games, this one had way more potential. What was the game? Ripple minigames. Ripple minigames, I played that. Is you and your friends are I actually forgot about that, though. <laughs> I think it's so old. I played that probably vibe. like five, six years ago. With over 30 minigames, it's not a surprise that the game quickly did numbers. Yeah, the that's what I'm saying. 30 minigames. So Took forever to make. Roblox noticed it, and especially Roblox himself, which you'll what? see why it's David Bazooki. Every year, Roblox hosts a special event, Egg Hunt, which everyone loves. Wait, what does that have to do with the, the Ripple mini games? And also, if this game got so popular, why did he actually leave? Dude, if I had a game that popular, bro, oh my gosh, I would never leave Roblox. Overnight, the game was hitting records. Dude, numbers. 10k Ripple players. Was driving, players were playing, and even Roblox himself what happened? was happy. With the game bringing life to the platform, this seems Seems like the start of an incredible journey. And then watch, it's gonna be a terrible turn. But during all the success, one player in particular was heavily inspired and fought. Surely I can make my own version of this. Ripple oh no, was he's about to copy him. Destruction Derby. Typical was inspired by Ripple minigames. It's a beautiful cycle. So a few weeks later, he made epic minigames. Oh, guys, I played this so much. A near perfect replica of Ripple's, except with better maps, Better yeah. Game modes and Dang. Better marketing. They did everything but better. It, Come on, Ripple, man. You gotta, you gotta level up, dude. Revamp the game, dude. Make it better. Totally coexist in harmony. Oh no, nah, bro. It's over. It's over. Despite their competition, both games grew at the exact same speed. Except Epic Minigames was more frequent with updates. Oh Every no. Every week they added more creative minigames. No which way. Even the Roblox staff really love. These Ripple minigames didn't do updates? We should include them no. in our official events. So in June of that year, Epic Minigames had its first event. And what the happened to Ripple minigames? Game. Did they start getting this more popular? They probably did. Move, because Roblox back then was getting tons and tons of new players, and the minigames themselves were easy to understand. This did wonders for Epic minigames. Oh my so gosh, look later, at that. Roblox the graph is crazy. In another event. And another... What about Ripple minigames? Uh, wait, I feel like we're missing something. Isn't this video supposed to be about... Yes, Ripple. Oh. What happened to Ripple? After it died. Support, no. Epic no. Minigames assembled a way bigger team, no. leaving Ripple in the dust. So he passed his crown and quietly moved on. Are you serious? Did he but did he, he cancel the game or something? Done. Just like his first success, he took inspiration from another one of his Okay, he made another games, game. Rust. 
a multiplayer survival game. The idea was pretty simple. So with a small team, they made a whole new group called Roll Vive. Roll Vive. Spent a year How popular did it get? working on the map How popular? Weapons, with the hopes of this game finally getting... I feel like he's about to say, oh, wait. Oh, come on. What? For exploiting? What did he do? You may be wondering how a guy Roblox loves... Got banned. There is no way they banned him. That's probably that's probably temporary. Well, I'm guessing. <laughs> Wait, what did that tweet banned. say? I just got this warning threatening my account termination for a game I don't even own. Wait, what? What happened? Well, this began. Nah, my boy Ripple, dude. Don't don't tell me you got banned. Come on. Prayers for my man Ripple. Made a game completely ripping off Pokemon. Roblox oh, thought it was in Ripple's the group. group and punished him instead. That is sad. Attempt after attempt, Ripple angrily tried to get his stuff back. But to no avail. No way. Did his account like permanently get banned? I'm so confused. But after days of pestering, he got his account back. Let's go! Platform in a different light. Ever since, he was getting less and less active with his game. Oh, until nah. he completely disappeared. Ripple man. Why if you go you leave? to his main game, it's still up, but his profile is completely huh? banished. What? Perhaps Roblox banned him again. But if you go to his Twitter, no! he says he's permanently retired. People claimed this was because he that allegedly so sad, man. scammed his team for Rovive, which could explain a lot. With all this spreading around and his throne being taken, it's honestly kind of sad. Last seen two what years ago. Left behind, Can you even delete a Roblox guard. account, though? According I don't think you could do that. that saves data, Ripple states he is no longer enjoying Roblox and only wants money. <laughs> Yo, so why would he say that? Roblox is bad platform. I'm only here because money. That seems like uh, an interesting statement. These issues really killed his passion, causing him to focus more on life. Yeah, I hope he's doing well, though. Either way, w after Ripple. pioneering a new type of game, helping with huge events, and bringing life to the platform, he's definitely made his mark. So let's hope he inspired the new yes! generation to do the same. W Ripple. What about well, this last guy? we're in luck, because your next player might do just that. Wait, what? Just like Ripple, he's driven, dedicated, and determined to make Roblox games. Cause years before, he's been a fan of them, but none of them truly stood out. So he wanted to be as different as possible. I'm guessing this guy made a game. His games. To make my life in paradise, and family Jack life more clear. Let's investigate his earliest game. Let's see it. What was it? What was it? Life in paradise. I'm pretty sure I played that. The game was simple. You definitely, I have definitely played that. Actually, teen, adult, then do whatever your heart tells you to. What can possibly go wrong? Oh no! On the surface, this seems like another plain, boring roleplay. Yo, how are you gonna roast him like that? Why you just say he's different. Quiet. Cause here's where the twist comes in. Unlike most of these devs, Decabox was brave enough to give another player, Albert, admin, who just so oh, happens no. to be what did he do? The biggest Roblox YouTuber. What does the admin have with to do with uh, power, uh Albert the game dying or something? Some pretty nice things. <laughs> I just want to break the server for them because I don't think they should be playing right now. Okay, maybe he just ruined not the servers. So nice. But with the game's nonchalant nature and Albert's excessive trolling, players were on the edge of their seats. Okay, I don't know if he trolled that much. And he only did it in like three different videos. The viewers crowded the game. Yeah, Clearly, it made a pop. His basic roleplay game became a haven for experiments like griefing. Griefing, spying, spying, and abusing. Huh? Die, dude! <gasps> but what it's all good fun, and it brought life to Decabox's hard work. Twenty-three thousand is insane. Roleplay games. Despite the money he made, that didn't matter at all to him. What actually mattered was people having fun in the games he made, and he was especially thankful for Albert helping him. Out. Let's go! Now why did he disappear? But every action always has an equal force against it. Okay, in simple terms, the more players the game had, the more it got pushed on Roblox. Since 36, the game was a role game, a Dude. lot of online daters found it and used it for questionable activity. Hey, yo! Which made it impossible for normal players to have fun. <laughs> hey, yo! Oh, the owners took to over mention, the game. This happens in every one of his roleplay games. Okay, doesn't that like yeah, happen in every cool. single roleplay game? Everyone thought Decabox was responsible for this. In Wait, what? How is he responsible? Trolls infested his game with bots and framed oh, no. Decabox for doing it. Oh no. And just like with Ripple, did Roblox you guys account banned? He actually did it. No. And his Roblox, Which man, you gotta look into this stuff. That had all his games. 
Reasonably, he was upset, very upset in fact, not because his group had 3 million Robux, but because he worked so hard to build it and no amount of money can get it back. Dang man, Roblox just but be banning the players dude. from his fans and the biggest YouTubers, he was determined to pick up where he left. So right away, he made a new account named Decapad. Thankfully, he saved some games in an RBX file Wait, so he just re-uploaded re it? Them. Wouldn't Roblox know and but then like ban you? Yeah, see? Him. I assume that. <laughs> Although he was mad at this, it didn't I don't think you could just make a brand new account, account and then what just like post it again. One more time but have the games and group under a different name. That's actually brilliant. No way the But wouldn't Box Roblox know? It. Yeah, they definitely did. Banned again. Roblox will always know, man. If you make a brand new account, you're probably doomed. No. Surely, there must be more to this than online daters. Yeah, there's Players gotta must be. must have found worse reasons to report him. Because the ban reason says he sold Robux for real money. A massive violation oh. of the rules. But according to Decabox, all he did was trade his friend expensive I don't items, know, man. But Roblox thought he sold it for real money. No! Roblox, you gotta know if this, man! ends up getting them back, I don't You think can't just so. ban. Even after proving his case, the admin still did nothing. Oh, Unbanned dude. Decabox. He didn't do anything. You're telling me you could get banned this easily on Roblox? Ban after ban, That's kind of scary. Lost more and more hope until... He logged out forever. You get the picture. But Dang, instead of man. dwelling on the negative, we should all be happy with what he tried to do. In the short span of a year, he kickstarted the biggest Roblox series for millions to enjoy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's literally Flamingo's like most popular video is on that game. Living off of Roblox, and especially for others, enough to enjoy his retirement. Round of applause, boys. Life to the fullest. So we shouldn't Round of applause. Trolls take that thought away. Although we don't know where he is now, four I think years it's ago, best to respect his privacy and honor him as a person. Let's go! W Deca Box. What a legendary video, man. I already liked it. We're gonna comment real quick on the video. Mum, those are the saddest stories I've ever heard, boys. But W video. <laughs>